ActiveHDL's Design Flow Manager supports third-party vendor tools that can invoke both synthesis and implementation. First, enable the Design Flow Manager in the Preferences window located in the Tools menu. Under Environment, select Flows and check the Enable Design Flow Manager box. To view the flow, click on the View Flow icon located in the toolbar. To select the vendor tools for synthesis and implementation, click on the Flow Settings button. Under HDL Synthesis, click on the Select button. The available tools will be denoted in bold. For the purpose of this demonstration, Altera Quartus is chosen for both synthesis and implementation. Select the device family. Verify that the appropriate vendor tools are chosen and click OK. To ensure the Design Flow Manager functions properly, point to the vendor tool executable by going to the Preferences window. Expand the Flows option and click on Integrated Tools. You will see the vendor tool we chose under HDL Synthesis as well as an additional location field. This is where we need to point to the vendor tool executable. Click on the Browse button and select the appropriate executable file. Click OK when you're finished. Observe the Synthesis and Implementation button added to the design flow. To specify the parameters, click on Options. The files listed with red numbers will be synthesized. Be sure to select a top-level unit. You can run the process in batch mode or with the graphical user interface. In the tabs above, you can specify parameters for each stage of the process. Click OK when you're finished. To run the process, click on the Synthesis and Implementation button. In the pop-up batch window, you can view the status of your process. Close the window after the process reaches completion. To view the reports that were created during your process, click on Reports. In the Design Browser, you can observe the newly created Timing folder. This folder contains your VHDL Verilog Netlist file and SCF Timing Delay file. These are needed to run a timing simulation. Under the Timing Simulation options, verify that these files are present. Click OK when you're finished. Run the simulation. The Tools button is an additional Design Entry Flow tool. Similarly, the Analysis button is an additional Post Layout tool. The options for both will vary depending on your selected vendor. Define your PCB interface parameters by clicking on Options. You can export to or import from your PCB. Under the PCB Tool options, select the appropriate PCB file. Under the Synthesis and Implementation Tool options, select your file type and choose the appropriate file. Click OK when you're finished. Run the PCB interface. Thank you for watching our presentation.